good good morning everybody how are you today no we haven't jumped forward to october we are actually still in august at the moment um although yeah it kind of feels like it a bit doesn't it really it's not that nice out there today well it's at least it's not raining that's the main thing eh? which is a, a positive um Morning Sue, hello Alison, nice of you to join us this morning. Morning Donna, um, yeah it's looking a little bit grey isn't it, so I thought today what we would do, I mean I know look, I've got my cardio on today, so it's about kind of like throwing on that extra layer isn't it, so you can kind of still get away with some things, although she says I've got my Helena on today, never mind. Um, morning Moira, how are you? Oh, cutting your first Eleanor out today. Oh, fab. Morning, Lorna. Hello, Nikki. How are you? Oh, you're sat in your tent this morning in Somerset sewing Luna bunnies. Oh, they're gorgeous, aren't they? I love those. Unfortunately, I don't really have any little people anymore to make them for. Me. And I think, do you know what? I kind of would like to make one for myself, but that's just a bit weird, isn't it, really? I don't know. Yeah, Sue's so kind of pulling faces at me. I think she's trying to tell me, yes, that is a bit weird, actually. There we go. Um, oh, drizzly but humid in Northamptonshire, says Kirsty. I know, it's a bit weird, isn't it? It's that whole, whole kind of summer but not summer um, kind of weather. Morning, Tina. How are you? Thanks for joining us this morning. Um, so, yeah, so today it's kind of a little bit more about just shoving on that extra layer. So if you've got your Lavinia dress that you're planning on making, you might want to put a cardi or a sweatshirt over the top. So what we've got today are some fabrics that kind of go with each other for that kind of thing. Nikki says you don't need little people. <laughs> I know, yeah. Oh, Tina's working on her trouser block today. Good luck with that one. It's a nice one to do, actually. Uh, oh, Gretchen from Syracuse. Oh, drizzly over there. That's, I know, I think it's probably going to rain as well here today, actually. It's a good job I didn't put my washing outside. We've got it back indoors again. At least I think we have. And there's toilets put it outside. Without me knowing. But, oh look, the sun's just come out. That's quite nice today. Oh, hello. Look, we've got DPD. It's always the way, isn't it? Let me tell it's live. <laughs> I think I know who this is from, so that's okay. It's more fabric, people. More mm. fabric, which is great. So we'll, um, we'll wait until the DPD man's been, and then we'll carry on. Um, but you can tell it's live today. We've had a question on Instagram from Heather Joy who wanted to know, have we got any sewing classes for beginners? For beginners? Um, kind of how beginner do you want to be, really? Are you brand new to sewing? Um, in which case, we do have some. And that's actually one of the things that I'm going to... I've got my post-it notes here that Olivia is reminding me to talk about. Um, we have got workshops coming up, actually, which are quite good. And some of them will be for beginners, which would be great, actually. Oh, lovely. More fabrics. So we'll probably see that next week now, actually, which will be good. Keep it coming, keep it fresh, which is good. So that's good. Oh, let's have a quick look. Uh, uh, Carrie Ann, finally can join you live, only because my little one has COVID, has COVID so I have it done. There is a positive spin on everything that you can do. So that's the, that's the only way to get through life. Charlie is brilliant at that. I am not so, but he's very good at finding the positive out of everything, actually. Um, when it comes to workshops, though, we have got some coming up. So if you are looking at beginner dressmaking, then we've got the cape dress, which is a brilliant one to start off with, actually. That's a really good one. It's a nice, basic You've got darts, you've got setting in sleeves, you've got pockets, you've got bindings. So all of those skills are really transferable over to, onto other projects. That's so a really good one to start with. And we've got that coming up on the 3rd of October. All of them you can book through the website. Um, another of the workshops that we've got coming up is the Julia Pocket Top, which I've got samples of because sweatshirt fabric. And if you are new to working with Jersey, the Julia or the Regan actually are both really good patterns to start with because they're nice, easy, straightforward ones to do. Um, they're not complicated or anything like that, so it's really handy to work with. Now, with the both of those, you don't need an overlocker, 
but it will make it much quicker if you do. But you can sew sweater knits and sweatshirt fabrics on a normal sewing machine. As long as you've got a zigzag stitch, then you'll be fine because you want that stitch to stretch with the fabric. So that's cool. Um, oh, more comments? Oh gosh, they're all coming in today. Uh, Sharon popped up the Lavinia pattern. Uh, Sue's got miserable weather in Norfolk. Coffee and biscuits are the way to go. I totally agree with you there. Helen, oh, you're brand new. I am brand new, says Helen. That wasn't the question that was asked on Instagram, was it? It was from Heather Joy on Instagram. Oh, Heather, okay. Helen, you're brand new. Welcome. Welcome to the Sewing Studio, our lovely place here. Um, Sue's going to make a toilet of living in the soft moon. That's brilliant. That's good. Oh, Paula says, first time watching live. Then the rest of the day is free to work on Porsche. That sounds like a plan, doesn't it, really? Yes. So back to workshops again. So what I thought we would do today is, and I will, as I come along, I will, um, if I read them out quickly now, and I will mention them again later on as well. So we've got the Julia Pocket Top coming up on the 22nd of September, which is a brilliant one, actually. It's one of my favourite tops. Where's she gone? There we are. That's the Julia. Again, really dead easy one to make if you're brand new to knits. It's a brilliant workshop to do. Um, so you come in the morning, or the afternoon, it is, and you leave wearing your sweatshirt. How cool is that? Which is brilliant. Um, we've got the Love Your Overlocker workshop as well. We've got two of those coming up. Now, if you've got... This is actually one of our best-selling workshops, and it's a really cool one to do, because we take you through everything step-by-step step on the machine. Now, we have got the Love Your Overlocker course online, which is brilliant, and if you're a member of the sewing studio, you've automatically got access to that. But if you want to come here in person and use one of our overlockers to have a play around with, it's a brilliant hands-on way of getting to grips with your machine. Because they can be a little bit scary. I don't know if um, you know, you've tried using an overlocker before, they've got the blade and it cuts the fabric and you want the fingers out of the way. But actually, it does more than just making the seams. And you can find out all about what they do in the course. And we've got two of those coming up on the 26th of September and the 13th of October. Now we often run the um, Bianca coat. So we quite often do Love Your Overlocker workshop in the morning and then we do the Bianca coat in the afternoon. Um, and I haven't got the Bianca coat, it's over there, but I'll go and get it in a minute. Um, it's the lovely big waterfall kind of wrap it over and it's really snuggly kind of coat because you can make that up on the overlock, which is brilliant. So we kind of do the overlock in the morning, and then you can stay and do the coat in the afternoon, which is quite a cool way to spend a Saturday. Um, so we have got spaces on the 26th of September, but we've only got one place left on the 13th of October. Also, oh, Sue's going to pass me the Bianca. We can't, you have to kind of say it with an East Enders accent though, don't you? <laughs> It's Bianca. That's what it is. Ricky and Bianca. There we are. So that's the Bianca coat, which I love. It's absolutely gorgeous. I have several of these and they're brilliant. So I normally get up in the morning and have a cup of coffee outside, talk to the chickens, make sure they're okay. And I usually wrap up in my pyjamas and a Bianca coat over the top, which is the perfect way to spend, my, uh, you know, first thing in the morning actually which is quite a good way so let's pop that up there and see if it will go in there without falling off there we go we might be lucky there that's good so that's the other workshop that we've got coming up now we've only got one place left on the 13th of october but we have got spaces on the 26th of september but they're all on the website so you can book directly through there which is really cool um let's have a quick look and see Brilliant, Sharon's popping the links up to the workshops as well. So, lovely. Morning, Emma, how are you? Morning, Rowena. Hello, Louise. Um, that's good. Jackie, morning, everybody. Lovely, hello. Kirsty says, I've met, finally made the bodice for your Angelica in the Broadway Anglais. We'll be starting the pockets in tier one sometime this week. Very proud of myself. I've never made a dress before. Well, good for you. That's brilliant, actually. And Angelica is a really nice one to do. So it's dead easy. So that's perfect. Morning, Joanne. How are you? Maria, hello. How are you? 
Maria came and did our jeans workshop and did the most fabulous pair of jeans. They look amazing. And if you are in our Send Me Something Friends Facebook group, she's got some amazing pictures up there. And we had such a blast. It was a lovely workshop. We had an amazing group of ladies. And um, they all made fabulous jeans and looked amazing. So what more could you want, really? It was a really lovely workshop, actually. I really enjoyed it. Um, brilliant. Sharon's popping up links to the workshops as well. Good morning, Nikki. How are you? Hope everything's okay with you. Now, let's just see. So I've got a range of garments here that you can see. Now, these are the ones that I'm going to be talking about today. So I will refer back to them. But I thought what would be quite nice is to kind of mix and match a bit. So um, I quite like, and I don't often wear them, but I do quite like a nice long skirt in a nice soft kind of floaty-ish type fabric, which is perfect for the summer. Um, and uh, Desdemona is the ideal one for that. So if you've got something like a skirt or indeed like a, a dress like Lavinia, and you just want to throw over an extra layer, then you just want to make up a really quick kind of sweatshirt. So something like the Julia or the Regan would be absolutely ideal for that. Um, you could even, now if you are a member of the sewing studio, you've got access to a couple of exclusive patterns. One of which is the Rosa back on top, actually, which again is a really nice one to do. And you can just layer that with lots of things too, which is brilliant. So the first fabrics that I'm going to show you, I think these are just gorgeous. I love this. Now, I have shown this a couple of times before, but it's just so now. It's such a summer fabric, and I think this is beautiful. So a really lovely kind of long line summer, well, kind of long line, mid-calf skirt like the Desdemona with a pair of white trainers and a nice little sweatshirt, I think would be it's just, just right for this kind of weather, isn't it? It's a little bit summery, but you've got that extra layer one as well, which is really cool. And I have paired it with this beautifully soft fleece back sweatshirting. Oh, I love that. It's really lovely. But those two together are just really nice, aren't they? With a pair of white trainers, you can't go wrong. I think that's so pretty. It's a really nice one, actually. But look, it's really soft. I just want to sit here and stroke the fabrics today. They're so lovely. Oops. There we are. So I think this is now this would also work. I'll move this one that way. But I think this is gorgeous. It's quite good. Oh, it's Lavinia. Again, that would work really nicely as Lavinia. Let's move that one out of the way. So I want to show you. Um, I want to call this Spanish Nights, but that's something else, isn't it? What is it called? Spanish Charm. I'm so rubbish with names. I blame it, blame it on the age, actually. But this would be really cool. Again, if you've got a dress out of this or you want to make a skirt, or even the Palazzo pants from the book, dare I say. Now, I have to say, I'm afraid the book is sold out. Uh, we are going to try and get some more in, but at the moment, we have none left. Oh, let's have a quick look and see what else is going on. Oh, Nikki, you can't get into your account on your laptop, but you can get on your phone. Oh, no, what a pain. But at least you can join us on your phone. So I hope you get that sorted really quickly. Morning, Lizandra. How are you? When it shows popping up the fabric, so that's good. So I think the two of those, again, would just look really cute. Now, we have got some hacks for various patterns coming up soon because it's a really nice way to be able to utilise things that you've got already and just change a couple of things and you've got something else. So look out for those. There'll be more about those very soon. Um, Oh, Linda says, can I just ask, can you do pin tucks without pin tuck foot on the machine? Yes, absolutely, Linda. Absolutely. Um, all you want to do is mark out now the pin tucks that we've got on the vineyard are half a centimetre deep. So they're a centimetre wide. So all you want to do is just match up or draw lines on your fabric and just match those lines, those, those marks up and just stitch straight the way down. 
what I tend to do is actually use a stitch in the ditch foot or a blind hem foot as well, that can help. So you're running the fin of the foot along the edge of the fabric and then you swing the needle into the correct place to sew the width of pin tuck that you want. Just quite a handy little trick. That's good. Um, oh, Joanne says, loving the book, oversized shirt, first on my list. Can't argue with you there, I'm afraid. That's a brilliant one. I love my big oversized shirt. Um, Donna says, can you print the patterns for the book for us? Say I was tracing. Donna, I'm waiting for the okay from the publishers to be able to do that for you. Um, and what I'm hoping is that we'll be able to put them into the PDF printing service. So depending on how much paper they take, they'll either be a small, large, small, medium, large, or extra large, and then you can just order them that way. But as I mentioned before, we're only going to print the patterns off for people who've bought the book from us. So that's one way to, we can verify that you've purchased the book and to make sure that it's all done above board and the publishers are happy with everything as well. So yes, we will, but I'm just waiting for the OK. Um, so I'm going to put Spanish Charm down now. Um, I do like this. Actually, I quite like a little bit of glitter in that. That's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, I was a little bit unsure when we started, when I bought it. And I thought, mm, no, I'm not sure. But actually, I do quite like it now. Now this one, again, I love. This is a really pretty one. It's very kind of just subtle. But again, a skirt in this, a, just a Desdemona. Just a really lovely full one. You don't have to have the big kind of um, patch pockets. It does come with inseam pockets as well, which is quite nice. So you've got the option there. Um, but I think that, again, that blue goes really nicely with it, doesn't it? I think a really nice combination. I love that look. My daughter wears it quite often. She has skirts and then a kind of big puffy kind of sweatshirt, which is a tiny little thing anyway. But, um, but that's the blue. Now we've got another fabric that would work with that, which I think would be rather nice. Now this is a peachy coloured one. Oh, actually, this, because the kind of background of this lotus flower is a very soft, almost like a magnolia, Kind of peachy pink which is really pretty and actually I think this sweatshirting same fabric just a different color so it has that beautiful soft peachy arm you know when kids have snuggies and they just kind of that's exactly what this is it's just absolutely gorgeous and bonus is it comes with a matching rib so you don't have to use the same fabric for the neckband or the cuffs on the sweatshirts that you want to do You've actually got the thinner rib, which is really nice. Now, did you know that this rib can be used to make vest tops as well, which is really cool. It, because it comes as a tube, if you have a look at a lot of vest tops, uh, like the flute vest that we've got in the Mechanicals um, loungewear collection, that's a nice one. Um, what you can do is open up the tube and then you've just got a flat piece of fabric and it actually makes a really nice vest top because it's a rib so it's got that little bit of extra stretch to it which is really nice. And you can use the same strips of rib to kind of go around the neckline and the armpit which I think is quite a nice one. So you could have a little which I think would be really quite cool actually. You could make a little um, vest top out of the rib and then make a matching Julia that kind of is a bit more kind of slouchy. And then you've got the kind of two that go together, which I think would be really cool. Just thinking, just thinking. <laughs> Always thinking. Brilliant, Sharon's popping up all the links. Morning, Anthea, how are you? Anthea came to our jeans workshop again. She was one of the lovely ladies, made a fantastic pair of jeans, which was brilliant. Um, so yes, Donna, I hate tracing. Donna, I'm with you, actually. Um, yeah, the patterns in the pattern book, in the book, are reminiscent of the old kind of prima birda things, where you've got like 10 million lines all mixed up and looks like a massive great bird's nest. But, um, and it takes you kind of like forever to work out which are the actual pieces that you need. So I'm with you there, totally.
Um, Linda says, is the sweatshirt material suitable for the mechanicals cardigan? Yes, absolutely. We've got the quince card here. So yes, although we've made this in a sweater knit, so it's a bit kind of loose and drapey, um, absolutely it would work in a sweatshirt as well. I think that would be really nice. And that would give it a little bit more of a structured kind of look, but I think it would definitely, definitely work. Teresa, morning. Oh, we've got all the jeans ladies joining us today, which is really nice. Lovely. So I think actually those, now there's more fabrics that this goes with. So I'm going to pop this one away. Now, I can't remember what it's called. Sharon's popped the link up. What is it called? Florette Sunkissed something. Just called Florette Sunkissed. That'll do. That'll do. Let's pop that there. Let's get that out of the way. So we've got this beautiful kind of apron pot. Now, oh, this is lovely. Again, it works really nicely with this. If you had a skirt or a pair of palazzo pants, or even the Porsche trousers in bits and viscose would look really nice with the apron pot and the sweatshirty fabric. I'm trying to put the link up. I, can, I just can't remember what the fabrics are called these days. It's appalling, isn't it? Just pop the link up there. Oh, actually, what it is. There it is. Labelia. Labelia. Of course it is. I did know that, really. Labelia Bloom. There we go. I like that. Now, we've got, if you wanted to kind of mix and match, we've got this beautiful teal rib. So if you wanted it now, Regan works really nicely as a top rather than a sweatshirt if you want to use it with a woven fabric like viscose all you need to do is knock it up a size or two depending on how much ease you want within the top but using a contrast rib at the neck band and the cuffs would look fab with that really would look really cute actually so that's another option we've also got a really nice cotton lawn that would work So again, that's just picking out that lovely kind of apricot kind of colour. So again, a skirt with that and a little sweatshirt over the top would be really cute, wouldn't it? With either, you know, trainers, black sandals. I think that would be really lovely. What's this one called? I can't remember. Okay. Oh no, this is Summer Terrace. And again, you've got, you've got the, uh, the wood there that works with it beautifully actually which is a really nice combination i like that i really like that now let's pop that one out of the way now i know that the porsche trouser kind of workshop that we did online was really popular and it was brilliant and it worked and i think people really enjoyed it so we're thinking about doing another one in the autumn um, and possibly doing it between um, the Paulina, which is our lovely long line sweatshirt dress, which again is perfect if you just want to throw something over. This is a lovely one actually. So we're thinking of combining this with the Robin leggings and doing um, an online kind of course, again, similar to the Porsche that we did before. But we're gonna hack this, we're gonna do this, but slightly differently, you see what I mean? So there may be a couple of additions and there may be something taken off or shortened, perhaps. Um, but I think this is another really nice one, actually. So we're thinking of doing that one. Oh, morning, Laurie, how are you? Oops, where are you? Love the look of the new pattern, thank you. Bless you, that's lovely. Um, so we're either thinking, or Teresa says, the Fab Jeans course, loved it, and a great group of people. I know, we had a lovely group of ladies, actually. It was brilliant, it really was. Lots of fun. Um, or, potentially, we could do the Amelia dress as a course online but also include the leggings as well because it's quite a nice kind of combination. So it's a little bit of kind of layering up, but I'm thinking, do we, you rather, 
want to go with something that's knit or woven. So I know we uh, Olivia's been putting out the question on social media, but if you want to answer on here as well, that would be brilliant because then it gives us a better idea as to what you guys want, which is what it's all about, really. It's pointless us kind of creating stuff if it's not what you want or what you think is going to be useful. So let us know. Would you want to go for Paulina and leggings or Amelia and leggings? I must admit I was wearing my Amelia yesterday, or one of my Amelias yesterday, um, because I'm starting to kind of, oh look, jo Joanne's got very excited and said, please, Amelia, I already have one cut out. Um, this is really interesting. Oh no, it's going to be it's going to be six of one and half a dozen of the other now, isn't it? We may have got to do both. <laughs> Shouldn't say that. Um, but Linda would prefer, of course, with something knit. So we'll see. Ooh, ooh. Now I think there was a poll going on on one of the Facebook posts actually. So have a look for that and see if you can answer and uh, we can take it from there really. Now this is, let's move that one out of the way as well, which I'm going to shove that over there, this rounded by fabrics now. Now I love this. It's just a little bit magpie. It's a little bit sparkly but it's very subtle. This is a beautiful sweatshirting but if you look really close, and again, it's lovely. It's lovely, kind of soft, fleecy back as well. So it just feels divine. Um, it has a tiny, tiny kind of rainbow lurex going through this. So it looks like, from a distance, it kind of looks like a normal kind of grey, mauve sweatshirt. But I don't know if you can see it in here. If I move it, can you see the... Oh, knits. It looks like knits come... Oh, dear. There's another, more people preferring knit, or knit, Amelia, knit. Jan says, you choose. <laughs> no, I'm rubbish. I can't even choose what to watch on Netflix. So I have to leave that choice to Charlie. Uh, I said it's all the time woven scare me. Joanne, that's really interesting because normally it's the other way around. That's really interesting. Cool. Now, I know this is, I love this. Maybe we ought to do, you can't really see it. Can you see it? I don't know. Let us know if you can actually see the kind of lurex that goes through this. I'm trying to move it so that it catches the light a bit, but... It looks like it's plain, but it's not. It's like proper unicorn sweatshirt. It's got rainbow glittery stuff in it, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, so, but you can't have all of it because I want some. But that would be, I think that, and that would kind of go with almost anything, really. So even if you just wanted to have um, uh, like a simple navy skirt or wear it with jeans, I think this would look absolutely divine. I really do. I think it would be fab. It is super cosy, Jan. It really is. And I kind of feel like I'm heading that way now. It's, you know, is summer done? Could we get an Indian summer going into September? Who knows? Fingers crossed, eh? Fingers crossed. I love this fabric. I really do. Let's put that there. So, another one that I want to show you, which I really like. I love this kind of bright green. You know the um, the green fabric that I showed you last week that was the beautiful, um, probably emerald with the little kind of pink flowers in it? That, that bright green, I think, is gorgeous. Now, this one probably isn't everybody's cup of tea, but I love it. It's a proper clean, almost, it's not quite jade, but it's not emerald either. It's, I don't know what colour you'd call it actually, but it's sort of in between. But it goes perfectly with the peacock fabric. Oh, look at this. I love, look at that. This, oh no, the, are they upside down? Oh no, the other way. Look at that. Is that just not? The most perfect combination that looks amazing doesn't it so you can have beautiful peacock fabric dress skirt and then a fabulous bright green sweatshirt to go with it and it just picks out that color it was meant to be wasn't it really it was meant to be i love that combination i think it's absolutely gorgeous 
Nikki says, I can't see it, but I believe you. It's about the, about the sweatshirt thing, I know. Oh, I love that. That's so cool. I love that combination. It just works so beautifully. Majestic Peacock, that's what it's called. Majestic Peacock. There you are. Jan says, summer's done in Wensleydale. Freezing today. I can't help think of Wensleydale and think of cheese. What a comment. I'm sure you probably get that all the time, don't you? And I'm really sorry, but it does put a smile on my face. Linda says, I hope we have some kind of summer soon. I know. Do you know what? I was saying to Charlie the other day, it feels like we haven't really used the garden this year. We haven't been out, you know, eating out like we were last summer. Because, of course, you know, we didn't do anything else other than last summer. We didn't have anywhere else to go. But, and the weather was nice. The weather was so hot last year, wasn't it? Such a shame. Never mind, I've got to take the rock and smooth, don't we? And we've got it far better than some people, which is very true. Now, this green, again, I was going to say it's peacock coloured. It is, Linda. It is kind of like a peacocky green. Again, it's got that beautiful kind of soft. I love this. I love that. And again, it grows green. It picks out the green in the paisley viscose. I think it's absolutely beautiful. So again, if you've got a dress or a skirt, something that's really light and summery that you want to wear, but you want something to go over the top, then I think this is perfect. Oh, we've got pheasant barking today. There's no clay slapping there. Yeah, just good. We did have Arnie on the day a minute ago. That's our printer. We've got Big Bertha and Arnie, um, who sounds like the Terminator. So we called him Arnie. Um, that's really nice, isn't it? I'm liking, I'm really liking, I just want somewhere to go now that I can wear these. Otherwise, yeah, we're just kind of stuck at home still, aren't we really? But I love that. So it's a really beautiful, kind of clean, I do quite like clean colours, actually. That's my personal preference. But we have got others here that look just as nice. So, pop that there. Slightly different kind of colour set now. Let's move these down a bit. Oh, this is where I need to kind of there we go, get my work out today. So, sticking with the kind of slightly paler colours, this is another. This is actually, and when I say it's boring, it's not, obviously, because it's lovely, but it's not the kind of unicorn, twinkle, rainbow sparkle fabric that we've got there. But this is absolutely beautiful. So, again, if you wanted something that was just a classic sweatshirt just to wear with a pair of jeans um, and or a denim skirt or something like that, it would just be really lovely. So I paired it now with some of the classic navy and white fabrics that we've got. It's just a, a marl, which means it has that kind of lots of different kind of greys all together kind of look, if you see what I mean. You can actually see it as a marl in the picture that Sharon's just posted up on the links there, which is brilliant. So that's good. Uh, yes, Laurie, absolutely. The paisley on the bottom with the green top, I think would look fantastic. Yeah, that would be really cool. Yeah. So we've got, again, it would look great as a really kind of slouchy, oversized Julia top, Julia sweatshirt. And then we've got the linen knit fabric. So try not to knock her laptop off the table. Um, so this is beautiful. It has a slug to it. So it has a texture. So this is the same fabric that we've used to do the flute vest. And again, I think it's all about layering, isn't it? If you've got a lovely little, um, look, like that as well. Really lovely, um, lightweight summer skirt in the Desdemona with a little flute vest top. And then you've got a nice Regan or a Julia top to go over the top, just to kind of, just for that extra kind of layer. And I think that would be really pretty. Again, it's just a lovely one. 
Um, it's just a perfect kind of outfit for now, isn't it? Really? So it's making the most of the fabrics that we've got in the summer, but because we've got that lovely British weather, we never know quite what it's going to be like, whether it's going to be raining or cold or even healing, as it has done sometimes. Um, so I think you've got the option there, because we would love to be, like last year, where it was just hot all year round, didn't we? But unfortunately, it's not the way it goes. Um, <laughs> oh, I love that. Nikki says, sat in the tent, happily sewing, when my other half asked me to mend his wash bag. Do I do it? Well, depends on how much harmony you want for the rest of your holiday, really, I suppose. I think that's really funny. I love that. It's amazing what people ask you to do, isn't it? Do you find that? I think most people know now. I kind of say no. If they ask me to alter anything or fix anything. Um, do you get that problem? Do people, if, you, if people know, friends, works, colleagues, work colleagues, people like that, if they know you so, do you get asked to do, or oh, can you just, can you just take up my jeans? Can you just make my daughter's prom dress? Can you just, stuff like that? Do you find that? I don't know. It's one of those things, isn't it? But this is really pretty. I love it. It's blue and pink spot in this case. It's a beautiful one, actually. It's a very, it's almost like a forget-me-not blue, which I think is absolutely lovely. And again, you've got that lovely, it's clean, it's bright, it's summery. Now the sun's come out, actually, it would work a treat. And I think that would look amazing as a little kind of outfit all together. Which is very cool. Now, that I think is a lovely summery one. But we've also got the chambray, which is a classic kind of fabric. And again, I think this would work beautifully. So this was a fabric that I've made an Angelica out of, and it works really nicely. It's lovely and soft, but again, you could make this up in a pair of um, palazzo pants from the book, or the Porsche trousers. Again, a summer weight kind of pair of Porsches would be lovely with this. A little white vest and a sweatshirt over the top, which I think would be really cool. Donna says, I used to say for a living, and people still said, can you just? I know they do, don't they? They really do. Uh, Kate says, oh my God, that can you just? The latest thing, my mum asked me, can you just knock me up a new dress for my holiday? I know, because it, it just happens, doesn't it? Magic, magically appears. Yeah. Oh dear. Nikki says, give him a needle and thread. <laughs> Oh, that's really funny. Um, Linda says, what sun? I know, I know. That's the trouble, isn't it? Okay, so the holiday is next week. I work full time with young kids, so lots of nighttime sewing ahead. Ooh, that's quite nice, actually. I quite like it. It's peace and quiet, isn't it? I used to, well, I can't do it now because I'm old, but I need a full eight hours sleep now. But um, when you're younger, and actually, even not that long ago, it's much easier to work at like two o'clock in the morning, isn't it? Everyone's off Facebook. There's no one to chat to, so you can kind of get on and do your work, aren't you? And if it means listening to something interesting on the radio, on the wireless, while you're sewing, then I think that's really cool. Um, Chambre, again, one of my favourite fabrics. So sticking with this combo, because I really like it, there's another one that we've got, which is the Ginkgo print. Now this is lovely. Again, it's a lightweight cotton lawn, so it's perfect for the Desdemona skirt because you've got all of the gathers around the waist, which is really nice. Um, oh, Debbie Shaw, Kirsty says, Debbie Shaw did a little sewing poem about it, about saying no, and it was also true. Oh, brilliant. Oh, I'm going to have to see if I can find that. That sounds really cool. Um, again, nice little white t-shirt and a grey sweatshirt over the top with a pair of Red Converse or something like that would look brilliant, wouldn't it? Or yellow sea salt sandals, she says, thinking of her own wardrobe. Um, morning, Sean. Hello. Um, so I said, sorry late to the live. What colour linen am I wearing today? This is actually a very old one, I'm afraid. And I don't even know if I can get it. It's, um, yeah, it's from my stash. It's an old Helena, I'm afraid. 
And I, I think it's a merchant and news fabric, actually. But we used to stop. Um, but we can't get them out there because they're out of stock. Oh, well, anyway. We do try and get some of their fabric soon. Um, Sue says, I'm best the other way around. I would have to get up early to sew, but I don't like to disturb everyone. Oh, I know. Yeah, that's the trouble, isn't it? Once you can get up early, and if you've got your own little sewing room, if you're lucky enough, you can kind of tuck yourself away then. Um, Jan says, which is speediest to make, Desdemona skirt or Angelica? I just got one day to sew. I would probably go with the skirt because once you get the panels cut, they are big panels, but then you've just got the button placket. If you want to do inseam pockets, you can do those rather than the patch ones. And the waistband, and that's it. So it's a quick and easy project to do, actually. So I'd probably tackle the Desdemona if you've got just a day to get it all done. And that will give you at least something to wear the next day, won't it? Which would be really cool. So, Inco, Cotton Lawn, which I think is rather lovely, is a nice one to, to do. It's one of those fabrics, it kind of looks like black, but when you put it next to black, it's blue. But when you look at it, you kind of think, oh, that's really dark. So it's almost like a kind of midnight blue, which is quite cool. So let's move these, actually, I'll pop these up the back now. Put the space up there. So, a few more blues, if you like a bit of blue, um, they get busy, says Jan, yes. Ah, uh, Debbie's short, Linda says, her ditties are brilliant. Oh, I nearly read that as something else, then. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. It's probably my mind more than another thing, isn't it? Um, I'm going to have to see that. Oh. James says, oh, you've made five bridesmaids dresses for your daughter's wedding in 10 days while working full time. Hats off to you, lady. Gosh. That's impressive. Yeah. I've got a very accommodating boss. Oh, that box, <laughs> doesn't it? Um, I work 9.30 to 3.30, sewed 4.30 till 2 a.m., <gasps> sleep and then repeat. Oh. Thankfully, that was 20 years ago. Oh, that's okay. I was thinking, oh my gosh, if you've done that now, mind you, even then, that was brilliant going, wow. That's cool. So, another linen slub jersey, which I think is absolutely lovely. It's a pale blue, which is, I think is a really cool, cute kind of colour. Now, I love this. And again, I think this would work as um, a vest top, or you could do a vest and something to go with it, actually. Uh, oh, Laurie says, what is the clicking sound in the background? I've got my lovely friend Helen in helping us over the summer holidays and she's folding patterns so that's what you can hear so it's paper being folded and creased and patterns being stuffed into envelopes so <laughs> there we go that's what see we've got it's all going on here you see we've got deliveries we've got printers we've got no clay slapping today though so that's okay so Desdemona in the lighter chambray oh Jan I like that yes that would be quite nice actually very nice. Yeah, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Actually, a flute vest in the linen chambray would look amazing with the kind of navy grey cargo camouflage kind of fabric. Again, this is a fleece. Well, actually, it's a loopy one, but it is fleecy as well, actually, which is rather nice. Um, again, you could have a really lovely oversized Julia top with a little vest top underneath it and that would work brilliantly. I know, Laurie, yes, yeah, she's brilliant actually. She's been fantastic this summer, which is wonderful. So, what do you think of those two? I think they would well work actually. Again, just wear the jeans. I think it would look amazing. Or you could pair it with one of the, actually that, with a pair of cargo, with the aerial cargo pants would look really cool, wouldn't it? Best top, oversized Julia, pair of aerials. We've got, actually, I'm going to kill you for a minute, because we've got the rainy. That, that would be nice, wouldn't it? This is lovely. This is linen rainy. So it is a bit thicker, heavier weight than our normal linen. But, and it's got a texture to it as well, which is really nice. So it has that lovely kind of relaxed, casual kind of feel to it. 
but these, this fabric would make up perfectly into the aerial trousers and cargo pants, which would be amazing actually. So I think that is a lovely combination. We've got, now if you wanted, if you didn't want to use the same fabric, let's just move that one out of the way quickly. Pop that up there. So if you didn't want to use the same weight fabric for your sweatshirt, you've got a couple of options. So we've got that nicer, paler grey rib, or we've got a striped rib, which again, I think works really nicely. I'm thinking trousers in camo. Do you know what? Actually, if you wanted to do the Nell trousers in the camo, in the sweatshirt fabric, do you know what? I think that would actually work. And I think it would be really cool. And if you do it, send us a picture. Because I think that would look amazing. Jan says, oh, we love the slug jerseys. Do you know what? They are absolutely gorgeous. They are such a lovely quality of fabric. They really are. At the moment, we've got the white, we've got the pale blue, and we've got a really gorgeous kind of soft plum heather colour, which I haven't pulled out today, but maybe I will do another time. Um, Donna says, we'll do. That's cool. Oh, morning, Pam. Pam's another jeans lady. Welcome. Morning, I'm at a client's house just having a quick sneak at your fabrics. Oh, don't blame, don't blame you, Pam. Yeah. Donna, I think you should definitely make a pair of the Nell in that. I think that would look so cool. Fabulous. I'm going to pop those over there. So I'm running out of space again. Let's put that over there. I'm going to leave my rainy there because that's going to go with some other ones that I want to show you. So, now we've had a few replies, but um, for those who have joined us recently, we're going to be doing another autumn kind of sew along workshop. Do you want, she says, we've got a couple of options. We can do a woven one with the Amelia dress. Or we can do a knit one with the Paulina sweater dress. Which one are you kind of thinking? Are you going more for knits or more for wovens? Now, what's really lovely is that they both work with the Robin leggings. So we're going to include those in the several workshop as well. So which one are you going to go for? Which one would you prefer us to do? Because there's no point in us putting stuff out there unless it's useful for you guys. That's the whole point of us being here, really. So let's move, oh, let's move that one away. Got more here. So, rainy. Now, I'm kind of thinking a little bit more tops and bottoms now. So, not necessarily sweatshirts, but I think the rainy is absolutely beautiful fabric. I'm going to move that one over there because that's not the one I want to talk about at the moment. So, we want the pink. Pink cargo pants. Why would you not want pink cargo pants, actually? And I think that would look amazing. I really do. Now, I'm going to pair it with this one. Because I love it. Look at that. Look at the pink. And the electric blue. Is that not cool? Now, this is called... I want to get it right now. Can I... She says... Playful seaweed night glow. It doesn't glow in the dark. Okay, I'm just going to get that out there now. It doesn't glow in the dark, it's just the print. There we go. So, playful seaweed in night glow. How cool is that? Now, actually, I would pair one of the paler grey sweatshirts with that, and I think that would look really nice with those two. Um, because the paler grey is quite a neutral, it's not going to detract from the brightness and the playfulness of the colours that we've got there, which I think is really nice. I like that a lot, actually. I think that's really cool. I like that combination. Now, we've also got this beautiful electric blue. Now, this is a viscose linen. And again, look at the colours there. Is that not so lovely? This is beautiful. Now this would make up, actually, this would make up into um, 
the Lavinia dress as well, actually, because it's soft enough and light enough to be able to shear with the shearing elastic. So that would be a really gorgeous dress. Imagine a little electric blue dress. This would go electric blue Lavinia with the sparkly rainbow unicorn sweatshirt fabric. That would be very cool, wouldn't it? That would be very cool. I really like that. Um, Linda says, can you shorten the Paulina to be more of a top? It is possible to do that. You would probably lose the pockets. So that's the only thing. But if you're cool with that, then yeah, that's totally cool. You can do that, absolutely. Um, yeah, that would work. So if you, because if you're going to shorten the Paulina, well, actually, you might keep it, but you'd only keep it. Well, yeah, the pocket bag goes down to about there. So it depends on how much you want to shorten it by. Um, but that's something that we could do in the workshop. So, yeah. So maybe Paulina, you're going to tick on the Paulina side. You're team Paulina rather than team Amelia, perhaps. Which we have to do. So, right. Now, another fabric that's going to go with this beautiful... If you like your bright colours, this is absolutely beautiful. Hello sunshine. I love that. It's got that beautiful, it's got my yellow in it, you see. It's got my yellow in it, which I love. That's so cool, isn't it? Again, this would be one, actually, I think that would be so cool with the uh, unicorn rainbow sweatshirt. It's subtle, it's really subtle. Um, so it's not going to be like the, um, oh gosh, we had, can't get it anymore, we had rainbow rib that had a lure rex going through it. And some people have made some amazing vegan sweatshirts with it. Sharon's got some. I lucked out. I didn't get any. It's always a way, isn't it? But so it's not quite as rainbow unicorn as that. It's just very subtle, very subtle. I really like it, actually. But that would be the perfect kind of sweatshirt to wear with something like this because this is quite busy. Tropic like it's hot. There we go, that's what it's called. So something like this is quite busy, so you want something that's a little bit plain with it. The, the kind of boring, but not really boring, plain light grey marl sweatshirt, again, would work really nicely with this. You could even go, you could even go for the blue one, the darker blue that I showed you right first off. That would work quite nicely too, actually. But that would be really pretty. That. We'll get those two. Now again, I'm going to, I brought this one out because I think this works with both the kind of slate blue, is it slate blue? Oh, Jan says, Pauline is such a flattering colour, it covers yet isn't too wide at the derriere. Yes, it kind of tapers, so you end up with a little bit of a Mr. Incredibles kind of inverted V sort of shape. But that actually works, I think. Still to be bum covering, says Linda. <laughs> A bum covering Paulina. That's fine. Now, what's it called? I don't know if I popped it in there. I can't remember the colour of it now. There we go. So we've got the other colourway of... Now, where is it? In there? Is it in there? There we are. So this is denim washed rainy. So again, both of those colours I think are wonderfully picked out in the AGF jersey that we've got here. So again, you could make just a really simple vegan, um, or you could even do the snug tea that comes with the um, Mechanicals lounge set. Again, with a pair of um, hero trousers, which I think is really cool. Oops. Jan says, just trying to work out which knit after doing three already. So, Paulina might be one of your favourites there, Jan. I see. That's really cool. So, this is really, I love this one actually. What's this called? Just have a look on the side of the fabric. 
called Cherished Gatherings, which I think is again really pretty, actually. And it's got that lovely kind of slightly Air Forcey blue and the pink in there. So either of those would work really nicely together, actually. And we've got... Now, this isn't online yet. I don't... Is this the one, Sharon? Show me a minute. Um, it will be online later. It's literally just walked through the door, and I thought, oh, my gosh, this goes so beautifully. We've got to have it. Um, so it don't think it's online yet, but it will be. Um, but this is really nice. It's got a really nice reverse to it, which I think is gorgeous. It's a rib. And you can see, I don't know, can you see the texture on that? So, yeah, just about. Yeah. Denim wash rainy, don't you? Yes, it will be online later. Um, but I love this, and it's just... I love the, the contrast of it. So you could use this almost inside out, actually, and have the, the kind of rib on the outside and then have it folded back to show the inside or vice versa, actually, which would look really nice. Or you could make yourself a nice big oversized Julia and have the main body as the darker colour with a bit of a rib showing just as the kind of contrast at the neck and the wrist. I think it would look really nice, actually. This will be online later. Um, I will stick it out in the newsletter that goes out later on as well. So we'll put all of the fabrics that we've talked about today in an email that goes out later on. So double check and make sure that you are signed up for our emails. Otherwise, you could be missing something really important because we do like to let you know what's going on. So including all the workshops. We'll be letting you know about the workshops. She said quickly looking at her post-it notes on the table there. Um, I think this is a really lovely combination, actually, as well. And I think this would work beautifully in conjunction with the sweatshirt fabric that we've got there. They're a really nice combination, aren't they? You could even make a pair of leggings out of this and have a Paulina in the sweatshirt. Actually, that would work too, which would be really nice. Oh, it certainly is, says Jan. Paulina's obviously your favourite. Always great, always great comments when wearing. That's perfect. Which is what it's all about, isn't it? Which feels good, doesn't it? Sewing makes you feel good. That's, can't get around that really, can you? That's why sewing is good for the soul. Let's move this out of the way. So, and I want to move this out of the way, but I want to keep this one. Because again, I think that kind of colourway goes beautifully. It's kind of like a pale teal sort of colour, isn't it? So again, that looks really lovely. A get big wide trousers or a little Desdemona skirt in the soft viscose, and you've got a lovely big kind of oversized sweatshirt that works with it too, which I think is absolutely lovely. I really like the combination. They work. And we've got a slightly paler, so actually that matches in perfectly. So we've got that slightly paler rib if you wanted to have that with the sweatshirt in as well, which is really cool. I think they work really nicely together. So let's hop those out of the way. So we've got a bit of mound piling up the back now. And show you the last group of fabrics that we've got which are really nice too. So, now I have to say these are probably one of my favourite little group of colourings. I love this. Anything with stripes on it's fine by me. It's a loop back sweatshirt so it's actually quite nice and soft which is lovely. This would be amazing with, um, as like an oversized Julia top with little pockets. It also rolls back on itself. So you've got that as a feature that you could use. So even if you wanted to make like a, um, just a vegan top out of it, you could make it a little bit longer through the hip and leave off the band around the waist and just have the raw edge and let it roll. And that would just give you a really nice kind of little very casual looking kind of top, which I think would be really lovely. But I love this with the bright red. It's a proper bright red. I love that. 
but this I think as a sweatshirt with a pair of navy cargo pants. We've got there we go. We've got the navy blue linen discus, or even I haven't put it out again because you know everybody knows how much I love navy linen. Um, but that would work just as well, actually. So look, I love that red. It's just so cool, isn't it? You could do some really interesting kind of top stitching. Now, if you've got a cover stitch machine, you could do some really beautiful top stitching with that as well, which is brilliant. So again, if you are, it's coming, it's coming. The course is coming. We've had a few technical hitches, but it's on its way. Um, but I think that would work really nicely together. All, the, all, those, all three of those together, they just work, don't they? They just kind of work. Now I've paired it with a print for this because it's quite an orangey red. I love this. This is like vintage posy linen. And again, you can have some, but you can't have it all because I want some. In fact, I actually need to chop myself up with some of this because I really want to make a top out of it. But that, that with the the red sweatshirt in and a pair of navy. It's lovely, isn't it? It is really nice. Linda says, I can't do the rolled up edge. I always feel it's unfinished. Yes. Well, I'm, the thing is, it gives it much more of a casual kind of feel, doesn't it? I suppose if, um, what did I used to chop up sweatshirts when I was, you know, we'd get things from secondhand shops really big oversized things and you just cut the neckband off and just leave it raw and stuff like that and it all rolls which I quite like but I totally get it if you are not an unfinished kind of person then I can totally understand that it's going to be it's going to be slightly wincy every time you look at it which I totally get totally get so we've got those there now again with that red sweatshirting you could have contrast and have some navy rib that goes with it actually which would really work but <coughs> excuse me sorry Sue coughing in the room um, but actually the navy she says let that fall over the navy rib again works with that stripy um, loop back sweatshirting as well which is really nice so there's a whole little group I think this works really well we've also got another AGF one which I think is really pretty. It's got daisies in marine cotton. Now again, I think that with the red sweatshirt in would be really cool. Now, if you're feeling brave, Jan, what about a bright red Paulina with a pair of daisy leggings? That would be quite cool, wouldn't it? With a bit of navy top stitching on your, um, on your Paulina. I think that would work really nicely. There we go. So, quite a few fabrics today. Lots of pairings there for you, which I hope you're going to find interesting and useful. Don't forget, we have still got workshops available now. I know that we are people are asking us for other things as well. So, what we're trying to do is to think about um, how and where we're going to put things in because we've got a lot going on. Actually, we have got a lot going on. It feels like. All we do here is chop off fabric and send it out. But actually, there is there's quite a lot going. Well, there's actually there's a very lot going on. I will say that now. There's a very lot going on. Um, so, oh, Nikki says, "Oh hi, I've got some fabric I want to use as line for something on a diploma. Difficulty trying to match it with another fabric in online. I need to send me something to relocate." <laughs> Nikki, I'd be more than happy to move to the Silly Isles. I think that would be really lovely. Actually, maybe we need a franchise out there. Who knows? Um, so workshops, we've got the Kate dress coming up on the 3rd of October, we've got the Julia pocket top, if I lift that up then I can talk to you and read at the same time, I don't know, that would be a sensible thing to do. Um, Julia pocket top coming up on the 22nd of September, love your overlocker, we've got that on the 22nd, 26th of September and the 13th of October and we've also got the Bianca coat because we're having to start to think about autumn now. And we are waiting for more of our boiled wools to come in, which are just a join of bliss. Uh, so we've got that coming up on the 26th of September, and we've got one place left on the 13th of October as well. Um, if there are any 
no, we're also starting to think about Christmas as well. I know I've said the C word and it's only all rest, but um, we're also thinking about the kinds of things that people would want to do over Christmas or for Christmas. So if there are any particular workshops that you would like us to do or any online courses you'd like us to run for Christmas, decorations, presents, all kinds of things like that, let us know so that we can get all of those sorted and prepped for you as well, which is brilliant. Oh, what sweatshirt, Donna says, would you go with the camo pants? Now, Donna, camo pants, I would go with either a navy blue. No, it's not here. We've actually got a navy blue sweatshirting, or I'd go with a pale grey. That would work, actually. Mm, could you go away with the unicorn rainbow? Mm, maybe. Or we've got the um, plain mall grey as well. That would work really nicely with a camo camo combo. I think that would be really nice. Let's if you if you make it, Donna, send us some photos because I think that would be so cool. I really do. Um, Jan, yes, we are working on more fit your dummy workshop dates, so that is coming too. So we're on the case with those. It's just trying to find um, tutors because with the best will in the world, I would, I just can't teach all the workshops. I just don't have time. And if I did, I would not have a day off. I'd be working 24 seven, seven days a week. Um, and I don't kind of, I used to do that, but I kind of don't want to anymore. It's actually quite nice having the odd weekend off, which is rather nice. So we're trying to find other sewing tutors. Um, if you know of anybody, or even if you feel like you would like to come join us, obviously you need to be at a certain level because um, we want to be able to incorporate some of the advanced sewing practices. Um, but if you'd like to join us, drop us a line. Or if you know of anybody, let them know and they can drop us a line, which would be really cool. Um, so that, I think, ladies, is about it. We've got, oh gosh, what else have we got going on? We've got loads going on at the moment, haven't we? Let us know whether you would want Amelia or Paulina, and let us know if there are any particular workshops. I know we want to do the trouser ones. They seem to be the most popular at the moment, and we are working on more dates as well. Um, and if there's, a, if there's a complete beginner one, I know somebody was talking about being complete beginners, if there's, you know, more people who would like some kind of beginner sewing, let us know. Um, we can only put out there, or we want to only put out there, what we think you guys want, really. So, which is fantastic. Um, absolutely. Good work-life balance, says Jan. Yes. I'm trying. I'm trying. It's always been more, more one than the other, but we're trying to get it ev evened out a bit more. Um, so, have a fabulous week, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed the fabrics. I'm just going to go and wrap myself in all of the lovely cosy sweatshirt fabric that we've got now. And uh, we will see you here next week. Take care.